As usual for the UFC shows in Brazil and right out of the shoot, Yaya coming forward and appeared to land with a right hand. Yeah, he's trying to get respect immediately right off the bat. Just landed a nice right hand, trying to get respect from Bedford with his hands. Well, he got blitzed early on in the first fight from Johnny Bedford. Got overpowered a little bit in the early going. Oh! oh. Illegal kick. Oh, man. And once again, controversy <laughs> finds Johnny Bedford. Luckily, it looked like it landed on the shoulder. Look. It was in yeah. movement, okay? We're gonna right start. around the, the neck shoulder area. Ooh, no, okay. that hit the head there I'm with the foot. Shin hit the shoulder, but Aya uh, is okay. Yeah, so hit the shoulder on the ricochet, Ready? but the initial contact uh, was to the head. Point. And no touch of gloves, man. These guys don't like <laughs> each other. Bedford, there's that quick shot from Yaya. So Yaya had said they had squashed it. Doesn't appear that they have. Now, this is the worst possible position to be in here against Ronnie Yaya. Watch for this guillotine transition here. He's going for it. There it is. Very tight now. Arm in. Could be a little tricky to finish. He's trying to get on the right side of his hip. See if he transitions into a hook sweep here with his left hook. See if he tries to reverse off of this. Bedford has his hand in position on the wrist. He's raising his hips to try to alleviate the pressure on his neck, and I'm sure it's very uncomfortable at this point. Yaya trying to pace himself here. He's not totally right. trying to crank it here. Bedford's just trying to stay calm, trying to keep his hips high Gives and alleviate the, the pressure. Gives the thumbs up to the referee, but not where you want to be, as you mentioned, against Yaya, and plenty of time with which to work for the Brazilian. Yaya has quite an impressive squeeze, one of his best submissions here. Let's see if he transitions into a sweep. And now he's really starting to crank. See the backside of the head at Bedford starting to escape. Bedford's going to get out of that. Once you see the back of the head, he's going to sneak out. This is where Yaya really needs to transition and plan his next move. Under three minutes now to go in the opening round. Didn't have time to tell you that Johnny Bedford's wearing the red trunks and Yaya in the black as they blitzed each other right out of the shoot once again. Bedford can get out of this. Uh, you know, the, you see the back of his head start to creep out. Now he's going back into the into the choke a little bit. See if he can posture back out. Yeah, there he is. He's out. Nice defense there from Bedford. So Bedford throwing an elbow there. Didn't seem like he thought twice about trying to allow Yaya back to his feet. You hear the corner of Johnny Bedford telling him to stand up. They don't like the fact that he's on the mat playing around with Ronnie Yaya right now. Yaya's trying to set up that guillotine, that arm and guillotine again. Again, another window here for Bedford to get upright. Chooses not to. Now he's out and up. Nice one, two there from Yaya. Now he's got to be careful because he expended a lot of energy there on the mat. And he's very emotional. Started off very quickly in this fight against Bedford. And look at this. Bedford trying to go for a front choke here. Yaya spins out, but he's in side control. Bedford looking to be the fresher fighter right now, for sure. Yaya has cleaned up his striking quite a bit over the years, but it still remains a means to an end. One minute now to go in round one. Yaya is giving up his back here. Got that left leg that's preventing Bedford from taking the back. Now Yaya back to a half guard. Eight career wins by submission coming in for Johnny Bedford. Bedford has that cross wrist. That right arm of Yaya is trapped. Now if he can unload with that left hand, Yaya might be in trouble. Let's 
see that arm trap right there. Now Yaya's out. Yaya now attacking that omoplata, that shoulder lock. Bedford countering very well. Looking to finally settle their series after it began five months ago. Control, gentlemen. Looping right hand from Yaya misses. Yaya blitzes forward with a combination, lands a big left. Yeah, knocked out Bedford's mouthpiece, gets on top. And this is where Yaya really needs to pace himself again here. Gets off to a great start of the round. Now look at this, Bedford right back to his feet. And that grinding style of Bedford is going to serve him well here as he tries to set up a choke against Yaya off a failed takedown attempt. Yaya now attacking the leg with the Ashigarami grip. Beautiful sweep there. Excellent leg clamp sweep there from Hani Yaya, Ronnie Yaya, sorry, as he tries to advance his position. And a nice transition there into the half guard for Ronnie Yaya. Under three and a half minutes now to go in our middle round. Ronnie's going to try to mount here. He's also trying to counter with that Chimura grip. He's got two moves now. There he is. Now he's inside control. Now he's going to try to crank. He needs to throw his leg up and over. He's going to throw that left leg, and he's doing it now with that knee. And Bedford may be in big trouble here. Bedford's trying to block the hip with his right arm. It looks like he might be tapping. Yeah. Tapping, tapping with, with the foot. foot. Yeah. So Ronnie Yaya gets it done here in his native Brazil. It's a huge crank. You can see him tapping. And look at the shoulder. Look at the torque on the shoulder as Bedford tapped. Wow. Man. This is the kind of move that will dislocate the shoulder if you're not careful. And Bedford back on the stool, but that's why. That's why Yaya is world-class with his submission skills, and he gets a submission once again here in the UFC. And that's got to feel good to do it here in Brasilia. Honey, yeah!